Hi, welcome to my channel. So this is a look I did using the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe and I really love the shadows and I really had a fun time playing with everything. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm using Benefit's Porefessional Primer in the areas where I feel my pores are a little bit bigger to help blend those in and make them not as noticeable. So that's going to be my cheeks and my chin. Then I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. It's very lightweight and it has just a nice glow that makes it look like a glow from within versus dewiness or oiliness. I think it's great for summer to wear under foundations or even alone just to make your skin look even better. I'm also using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in Y255. I think this foundation is really similar to the Urban Decay Naked in terms of consistency, though this one smells a little bit better. I feel like the Naked smells a little like paint almost. And I'm going and blending that all over my face with a beauty blender. And I like the finish of this and the coverage of this um, if you're going to do a really intense event. But for everyday wear, I think it's a little bit much. I've been trying out new foundations to see what I might want to do for the wedding. But yeah, I don't know that this one's it. And then I'm using concealer. I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm mixing that with Naked, Naked Concealer by Urban Decay uh, because the max is too dark and the urban decay is a little too light so i like to mix them together so i could still get a highlight underneath my eyes my nose my forehead and my chin those are the areas of your face where light hits so that's why you actually want to make those a little bit lighter that way your face isn't one dimensional when you put foundation on because it kind of takes away all the dimension that your face naturally has so i'm blending that in with the skinnier side of the beauty blender under my eyes and really pushing it up in there and just blending and blending out so you don't see a harsh definition from one area to the other and I find this is the best way to apply concealer otherwise it gets very patchy I know and at least on myself I've noticed and then I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the eyes I'm using max soft ochre paint pot what's nice about this is if you have pigmentation on your eye it'll help blend that away and make it a very even canvas to work on and I like to put that on first and I like to use my finger because using a brush again doesn't get it as smooth as you want you kind of get some of those brush lines so that's why I like to use my finger and then I go ahead and go over it with a little bit of translucent powder so that way I'll be ready to rock and roll and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip my still damp beauty blender into the Translucent Power by MAC and put it under my eyes and anywhere else I put concealer. Okay, so switching back to the eyes, zooming in a little bit closer. Um, the lighting is a little bit off when I zoomed in, so I apologize. Okay, so I first started by using Blanc Type All Over the Lid by MAC, and then I'm going to go ahead in with the shade Silk Cream in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to try to keep it kind of low and just in the crease. And I'm going to just work that in with a fluffy brush and work it back and forth and start out the outer edge and then go in towards the center. And at the same time, I'm also going to drag it a little bit onto the corner of the lid as well. And then I'm going to dip that same brush into butter and go over the top of where I put the silk cream and continue to blend and add more depth into that color and then I'm gonna keep blending that out until I like what it looks like and then I'm gonna dip into the shade Jada with another white fluffy brush but it is a little bit tapered at the end that way I could get right into that outer outer corner and drag it in towards the center I liked using this brush for this because I felt like the shape allowed me to do that well and I find this is a really pretty color it's a matte and I haven't seen any mattes that are this shade and I really liked it so I was like I really want to do a look like this um, so I'm gonna keep going I started in the outer corner and then I blend into towards the center and up a little bit and then I'm going back in with that other fluffy brush and just blending the line between the 
color data and the other colors that I already had in the crease to make sure there are no line, harsh lines. All right, and so then I'm going in the middle with the shade Enchanted and I'm putting that and blending, starting in the middle and then blending that into where I put the shade Jada from before. And I'm using a flat brush what that was spritzed with a little bit of Fix Plus to help the shimmer shade stay. And I started by applying in the middle, going towards the end, and then eventually blending it inwards towards the corner of the eye as well. And then I'm also, again, going back and forth with that other fluffy brush every time I'm applying a new color, going back to blend that out to make sure there are no harsh lines. Then I'm also dipping into the shade Diva, which is another really pretty shimmer shade in this palette, using the same brush. And I'm going mostly towards of the inner eye and then going and meeting towards the middle just to warm it up and bronze it up a little bit, which I'll tie back into how I have the crease done. I'm dipping into the shade Roxanne, which is a nice dark green. That's the shade I'm going to use to deepen up this look. I'm putting it only in the outer corner of the lid. I'm blending it up and outwards to give the look a little bit more depth. As you can see, I'm starting in the outer area and then blending towards the middle, which helps give a good gradient effect. I'm also using that same kind of tapered brush to do this. And once again, going back and blending with another fluffy brush that I used beforehand. And I decided to add a couple more colors into that crease area to blend them together a little bit more. So I'm using the shades Pewter, Pewter and Pukey to do this. Okay, now I'm wiping all of that translucent powder away after my brush had been dipped in MAC skin finish powder in medium golden and with a big fluffy brush and I'm brushing all of that away. I'm taking another big fluffy brush for my bronzer. I'm using a combination of MAC Nude on Board and Smashbox Deep Matte. I'm doing that in the contours of my cheeks, around my forehead, underneath my chin a little bit, and to give my face a little bit more depth. Then I'm also going in with a fan, large fan brush and the highlight from Laura Mercier in Devotion. I'm doing that on the tops of my cheeks and a little bit around my temples and eyebrows. Then I'm dipping my finger in that and I'm touching it with, touching my nose and the sides of my nose and my cupid's bow just to highlight all those areas of my face a little bit. And a little on my chin and also a little brush on the forehead just to pull everything together. Then I'm using a blush brush and MAC shade Eternal Sun. Um, it's a nice nude, but warm nude, and I wanted to do it to keep my face kind of neutral, maybe a little on the warm side, and to have all the focus on the eyes. I'm going in to contour my nose with a smaller, thinner fan brush, and I'm using the Sculpting Powder by Kevin Aquan in Medium, and I'm just going going trying to draw straight lines down either side of the top of my nose to make my nose look a little bit more slender and then I decided to put a little bit of reflex teal on my eyes just in the center to give a little bit of sparkle and then I went ahead and curled my lashes and brought those same colors underneath my eye but the film you couldn't really see it very well so I decided to cut it out um, and then I'm just using a little bit of mascara and the guys are done I am using MAC lip liner in the shade devilish which is a nice pinky nude I'm using that as my base and then I'm gonna use MAC's lipstick in the shade kind of sexy it's kind of a peachy nude it's a nude that I find works really well for my skin tone it's one of my favorites I absolutely love this shade and then I'm topping it off with the gloss in the shade Fashion Win. And then I'm spritzing my entire face with MAC Fix Plus. And here we go. So here's the finished look. I really like this palette. I want to do like a thousand more looks with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. 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 And thanks so much. Bye.